Hi gang, Scott here. Welcome to Impost and thanks for joining me. If you watched In the Field earlier this week, you'll have seen me out at the ocean doing a little panning work with the camera. Uh, panning, you know, horizontal panning left to right out over the ocean and it creates these you know, abstract forms in the water as the waves and the ocean are rippling and doing their thing, the lights bouncing off of it. You get these pleasing ribbons of color, these just streaks with, uh, with the abstract when you do a pan there. And I've been working on some of the processing of these that I'd share a few of the things I'm doing uh, for the, at least the aesthetic that I'm finding to be nice for these photos. So uh, so let's go ahead and dive in. Here's the unprocessed image in Lightroom. And you can see it's kind of, you know, very, um, this very overcast day. So there's not a lot of brightness here. But uh, I want to point out the histogram. Take a look at the histogram. You, know, you see um, that most of the tones are in the center. Yeah, there's this blowout because of the, the bright sky at the top. But uh, what I want to point out is if I were to go into basic and just hit the auto button, I get this very dark, you know, moody, um, by my tastes, unattractive abstract. Uh, the, the auto button just wasn't working for this. You know, notice the histogram. It tried to stretch that whole histogram back out, push things to the left, bring things back into, uh, you know, the, the, the region and the realm of visible tones. And that's what auto does. It, it just doesn't work for this photo. So instead, my basics were besides a crop, as you can see there, were pretty simple. You know, I, I did use the Adobe Landscape profile, but I pushed exposure up, contrast some to get some separation, and a little reduction in the shadows. But the histogram, it's still pretty much in the center, you know, low mid-tones to upper mid-tones, and that's about it. There's no pure black, pure white. For this kind of photo, it, it felt better, you know, so it's like, you know, it's an example of there's never a single histogram that we target. It's really uh, the histogram gives us some some guidance on what the tones are in our image. But, you know, there's not one histogram that rules all photos. Next thing I'm done is a curve. Let me click the curve snapshot here. And this is brightening up the scene tremendously, right? It's a it's a pretty a pretty aggressive curve adjustment as far as curves go, taking the upper mid-tones and just pushing them up. I, I think that's a more inviting kind of feel for this image, you know, lighter, airier. Uh, it, it plays well with the abstract. I really like what it's doing with uh, what was, you know, some, some curls of waves and whitewash in the ocean down here in the lower part of the frame. So uh, that's the next thing I've been doing to make these abstracts a little more um, open. Then we have HSL. You'll see a little shift in the oranges, right? Just making those oranges a little more saturated, taking a little bit of the yellows toward orange, if I recall correctly. Yeah, we're just uh, we're taking things actually closer to the red tones, really increasing uh, the, the 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 ruddiness of uh, of the scene there. And this is playing up a warm, cool color palette, right? That's a classic. There's a reason that it works. You know, you know your color wheel. You know why. Uh, so that was uh, that was a little bit of a tweak there, and then slight bits of saturation increase. So a little more oranges, a little more blues. Again, warm, cool, right? Playing that up. The fourth thing I've done is shadow clarity is what I called this, and this is a subtle one. Watch the dark parts of the ocean. Here we go. After, before, after. Really subtle, kind of in the center. Uh, how is that happening? That is with masks. We open up our masking area, we have a luminance range mask. You know, this is just pick one of the dark spots there. If I hover there, you can see what Lightroom chose. Very tight on the deep shadows, a little bit of a feather out, and then an increase in clarity, just giving the shadows a little more of a pop. There isn't a pure black point in this photo, but I do want to have some level of contrast because it gives the scene a little more of that 3D feel. You know, there is you know, light and there is shadow and there are differences in those two things here. So that was, uh, that was kind of the most subtle one. And then our last is texture. Another subtle one, I suppose. Uh, you go back into basics and I pop the texture slider up a little bit to give more definition to uh, to these, these fingers here. So uh, between no texture, texture, gosh, I don't even know if that's going to come out on the video. Let's zoom in on this part here. Try that one more time. No texture, texture. You can probably see that a little bit more, especially in the brighter areas of the photo. But uh, again, to give uh, you know that balance between this is a soft photo, 
uh, in, intentionally, right? It's an abstract. It's it's not going to be crisp, but there is difference in, in, in definition between what these different streaks, these different ribbons of water are doing before and after. So, you know, working that push and pull between soft, bright, you know, almost like a glow, but also needing to have a little definition in there. So uh, that's been the, the, the sum total of things. If we got to look at that uh, at, at uh, from top to bottom here, you know, from let's say, let's start with the basics to the final, you know, opening it up, trying to maintain that, that contrast. And from here, uh, really I'll, I'll end up doing some more cropping because what's most interesting to me about the photo is the ocean part of it. Uh, if you watched in the field, you know, I had some, uh, some field challenges with being able to get just ocean in these, these scenes, uh, because of the way that the, the waves were behaving. Uh, I, I couldn't just like tilt the camera down and, and, and shoot just the ocean because I was getting way too much of the whitewash. So, um, this, this might've been a good technique to use at, um, like a lake on a windy day where there's a little more of a breeze adding some chop to the water then you've got some sunlight reflecting off of it do your panning and it can be all about the water so a uh, mental note <laughs> i need to go find myself a lake and and do this again but uh, i hope you found the video interesting it uh, gives you some ideas for your processing on, on whatever types of photos you're working on and until next time my name is scott davenport have fun <laughs>